Hey guys, hello, hello. It is leg day. It is a functional leg strength day. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you are doing this workout. So here's the deal. We're gonna work on some functional moves. This is gonna be a strength training workout, uh, primarily to build up the muscles in, uh, the muscles that you need for everyday function, right? So maybe going up and down on the stairs, maybe getting up and down on the floor. All of these things are required in everyday life. Maybe bending over to pick up something, maybe squatting down to grab something, right? Or putting it overhead. So we're gonna focus on legs, strength, functional mobility training today. Let me tell you what I have. I have a mat off to the side or back behind me. I have a chair. And I'm gonna advise you to grab a chair. If you do not um, have a chair that is sturdy, um, you know, a flat top or even a step, you can do some of the exercises and I will show you uh, on the ground, right? You do not necessarily need the step up, but I'm gonna use that because that is what I wanna do. Uh, it is gonna be a slower strength day. So I have heavier weights here. I have 20 and 15 pounds. I will go back and forth between the two we have three circuits, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. I believe there's four exercises in each one. And we're gonna start out slow with a great just warm up, mobility stretching to get the legs moving. So go grab your equipment. If you wanna preview this before actually diving in, please do so. But you're looking at a chair, some weights, a mat, maybe a sweat towel, and definitely something to drink to hydrate your body. So, if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's get going. So we have about a four and a half minute warm up. Right now, I'm just trying to wake my legs up, right? So I'm kicking my butt, I'm standing tall. Belly button is fine. Do some shrugs. Say, I don't know. Four. Three, two, take the knees up. So again, knee drives, right? So the quadricep, lifting, hinging right here, hip flexors. I'm gonna do it open. So open, bring it in, open, bring it in, open. So open up those hips, come on. Last time this leg. Now I'm just gonna swing the leg. So it's bent, loosening it up. Four, three, two, one, other side. This feels good. Opening up the hips. Four, three, two, one, bring it up, take it down to the knee, start out right here, a little bit of calisthenics. So you're folding, engaging that core, keeping that head up. I'm gonna go a little bit deeper, right? And I'm gonna keep my hands right here at my waist and go deeper. So I'm stretching out the hamstrings. Now remember, even though we're focused on warming up those legs, you still want to keep that core engaged. All right, don't let that back flip flop. Three, two, and last time. Now take the hands right here. So good morning, squeeze up the rear, down, squeeze up, down. Suck that gut in. On the Two more. Down, squeeze the butt, squeeze the legs. And last time. Now I'm going to take it down and up. So my legs are wide. A little bit more of a goblin. Down, squeeze the quads. Squeeze the quads. Come on. We're getting ready to go in a minute and a half. Four, three, two, one. Now I'm gonna have you. I'm gonna turn to the side. I'm gonna walk to the end. 
you're going to come out, two, three, four, hold, bring it in, and again. So this will bring the heart rate up a little bit, right? Again. Oh my quadriceps are burning. And let's do one more. Ready? And bring it in. And come on up. Jog it out. Jog it out. So the first thing that we're going to do, two goblet squats. So I'm going to hold on to a weight like this. And I'm going to go down like slightly turned out. I'm going down to a goblet squat. Two, on the second one, I'm going to do the hip opener. And then go back again and do a goblet squat. So I'm going to grab 20 pounds. We do two rounds, right, of this circuit, two times through. 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Name of the game, strong, slow, controlled. Legs turned out. Hold the weight like this, and up. Now, take it up, circle, down, up. Take it up and circle, suck that gut in, sit that butt down, woo, circle. Down, up, down on the second one, up, and around. So you see the mobility, right? It's making me stand on one leg, and I lose my balance. Down, bring it up. Down, up, come on up, circle it around. Bring it in. Go ahead, take a break. This next one is going to be two squats and a balance clean. So, what does that mean? We're going to go like this. You're going to go one, two, come up, clean, hold. So, two squats. Come up, clean hold. Go ahead and join me. One, two, up, clean hold. Up, clean hold. One, two, bring that weight up. Now, when you bring that weight up, your core's engaged. You need a little bit heavier weight, guys. Five pounds is not going to do it. Come on up. So it's forcing the standing leg that's balancing. To do a lot of work. Bring it up. Yeah, one more. One and two. And bring it in. Now this next one, you don't need a weight. And if you start to fall, because it's a one-legged squat, you can put your foot out right here, toe only, and go right over this leg. Okay. I'm going to do it like this. So I'm using one leg, and I'm going to actually grab my weight. So you notice, I have 20 pounds. I can't go low. Right? It's a little, it's not a pulse, and it's not quick. And everybody else, if you're falling, your toe is down. And you can go deeper, right? I dare you to try a one-legged squat right in balance. Not only does it work on your balance, but man, trying to do a squat with that one leg, it's hard. All right, next one. This has been the working leg the whole time. So I'm gonna do, we're just gonna do a runner's lunge, and I'm gonna lean up forward, and I'm gonna run. So I'm gonna show you from the front. Run. So come on, run, run. So it's a little bit slightly of a twist in the hips. All the weight is on my front leg and I'm racing you. It's a great way to get the heart rate up without the jumping. My leg and butt is on fire. Run, run, lift that head. You have about 15 seconds, then we get a 20 second rest and we get to do it all again. Come on. Come on, I'm winning. Come on. Holy crap. Ah. Oh. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a 
burner, right? So we're going to do it again. Functional work. Got the squat twice with the hip opener. I'm keeping my 20 pounds. I hold it just like this, right in line with my belly button, my chin to belly button. Go down. Now second time through, you might be able to go a little bit quicker. Because you know what's coming, right? Same with me. My legs are awake. And they're like, yeah, you got this. Bring it. Remember on that squat, squeeze the core. Don't let that belly hang. One, two, and one more, and then we're done. All right, catch your breath. We're gonna do that two squats, and then you're gonna come up and balance that clean, right? Here we go. Go one, up, two, hold. Up. One, two, three, 
four, half raise. One, two, three, four, half raise. I'm trying to see if you can see my foot. So, half raise. One, two, half raise. One, two, half raise. One, two, down. So I grab my weight. You're halfway through. One, two. Cap raise. One, two, and a cap raise. How's that, guys? Legs are getting some work here. Functional mobility, right? If we're down, you gotta get up. We're gonna develop those muscles. We're gonna do a split lunge. We're gonna do one weight. Uh, try 20. Okay. Same leg is up. Okay. And I'm gonna go straight down. Down. Up. Up. I'm gonna try to go all the way down, all the way up. I'm keeping it slow. Now, if you notice, a lunge doesn't mean this. It means dropping straight down, pushing up with that front leg, driving through the heel, keeping that head lifted. You have 10 seconds. Let's take a break. Woo! All right, this next one, you're gonna have to watch. Okay, a little complicated. You're gonna take, I'm still gonna work this same leg, okay, but I'm gonna turn this way. You're gonna do a lunge, come up to the side, and come up. No weights required. Here we go. One, knee drive. Go down, knee drive. So what this is gonna be about today, not speed, right? A function down, press it up. Look up, oh my God. push up, drive it up, take a step to the side, lunge. Bring it up. The same leg that we've been working. I'm gonna turn so you can see. It's gonna be reverse lunge, one, two, down, one, two, okay? Are you ready? Here we go. One, one, two. Now, you might be marching, one, two. Went down, come on up, one, two. One, two. Woo! Ah! One, two. Bring it in. Catch your breath. We are gonna do everything from the top. Now, my right leg is going to be the leading leg. You're going to go down to that lunge, and you're going to hold it, okay? So you're on the floor, just like this. You're going to come up, up, two, down, up, heel raise, two, down, up, two. Now I grab the weight, up, hold it there, squeeze, two, down, up. Now when you're lifting up with that front leg, think about inner thighs, think about knee, right? Think about core strength, squeeze everything, down, and down. Holy, holy, holy mole. This leg is going to be the front leg. We're going to do a lunge, split lunge. So I'm going to hold the weight in this hand. My right leg is still front. 
going to take a stance like this. We're not going back. We're not going forward. Going down and up. That's all it is. Keep going. I have long weight. I'll be off balance. Remember, legs are the strongest muscle group. Alright, biggest one. Quadriceps, hamstrings, gluteus, maximus, minimus, right? Down, come on up. Now what happens when we're doing this? Drop balance, right? Come on up. Split lunges are hard. I'm moving everything out of the way. I'm going to take this leg, my right leg, just giving you a visual, going back, driving it up, going to the side, and coming on up.
So right now, I'm going down with my left leg leading and left leg coming up. Now the next time when I do this, I'm gonna switch so that the right leg is doing the work. So I get up. Remember you guys, you fell down. You gotta get up. Your hands are broken. So you gotta use these legs, right? All right, I'm gonna open this back up. Now this one, one weight only. It's gonna go on one side. I'm gonna start out with the weight in my right hand. I'm gonna go heavy. So, legs are parallel to you. And then squat down. It's slow. I have 20 pounds in my hand. If you look, my butt's going down first. Stabilizing my core, squeezing my quads. Down, push. Squeeze. Squeeze. Come on, guys. Sit it down. Do not fold. So it's like you're setting something down with one hand, but you're keeping an eye up ahead, right? All right, guys. Here is the step up, okay? If you cannot do a step up, what you can do, the leg that you will be stepping up with, you're gonna do this, okay? Anybody that can do a step up, go ahead. I'm gonna grab one weight, and I'm gonna go with my left leg, my up, Pause at the top, squeeze. Now this leg that I'm stepping up on, that is the working leg. So for you, that would be the one that you are doing raise the roof, right? Your leg is parallel to the ground, and you push it up higher, right? That's what you do. Bring it in. Catch your breath. You guys got that? We're doing one more time through. Other side. It's the lateral jump hold. I don't trust that back. Step hold. Again, step hold. Step hold. When you step, kind of plie that leg. Like bend it a little bit. You can go faster. Go faster. Put the arms up and guard. Breathe. You can do it. You can do it. Lift that head. Stick that landing. Keep that core engaged. Bring it in. All right. UFCs. I'm going to take bring the mat back. Remember. If you're not going down, you can't get up and down, right? Really well. It's one, two, three, four. One, but this leg has to be bent. It's not up here dancing, right? It's squatting down. Okay, ready? You go down right leg first, because I did left the first time. Now here's the deal. It's not supposed to be like this. The idea is to gain strength your legs go slow, right? Keep that core tight, lift that head. You can also hold the weight here. Down, down, up, up, up. Bring it in. All right, one weight. Squat. So your legs are going to be parallel, which means toes facing me, a little bit wider than shoulder. I'm going to hold the weight in this hand this time and set it down. The other arm's out here, right, and unstay, core up. Keep going. Keep grabbing the wrong weight. So you notice when I grab heavier weight, I go slow. 
because I want to maintain good form. Down. Man, head lifted. Push. Push. Squeeze the belly button in. Press the heels down, and you may have to walk your feet in a little bit so you're in a pike. And what you do is press your head through your arms. Your legs are straight, you squeeze your quads. Now, come on down to a plank. Take the other leg, however you get it there, bring it up, go all the way down, right? So I'm hunched over, I put my shoelaces down, and I'm going to sit up. So I'm sitting up tall, belly button to spine, and I'm going to push that hip forward, right? My knee staying over my ankle. Hold, hold, hold. I'm going to put my hands down, straighten that leg, drop the head, hold it. 
Try not to let that leg bend. We're trying to stretch out the hamstrings. Oh. Bring it in. Hands on the inside and drip in the sweat. Bring the other leg in. Okay. We worked our back a lot. I know it was legs, but our core is responsible for holding us up. And it, it works a lot when you're doing lunges and when you're doing squats. So let's go up to a great big arch, pressing it up. Lifting the head, rounding the back, dropping your shoulders down, bringing your butt up. Try to do an arch the best that you can. One more time. Come on up. Reverse it, lift that head. And feet into the ground, hands right where they are. Lift up to that bear crawl, come all the way up to a down dog, press your heels to the ground, walk your hands up to your feet, stay bent over, don't come up yet, stay bent over, squeeze that core, bend the legs, press it up, oh, I'm dripping with sweat, and that is it guys, that was pure strength. You would have thought it was cardio. That was pure strength today, right? What a great workout. So we definitely were focusing on functional mobility. Remember, these are the muscles that you're gonna use in everyday activity for the legs, going up and down the stairs, getting up and down off the floor, right? Putting a box down or picking a box up, right? A lot of people do this. We start using our legs, building the strength up in our legs. So. If you have more time and can stretch out, I would encourage you to do that. Really stretching out the hamstrings. Uh, you know, we did a little bit with the calves, but even doing stuff like this is really great for you. Circling, standing on one leg, and really working on elongating and relaxing and stretching out those muscles, right? So that is it. That is your functional mobility leg strength workup. Have a great day.